China revealed and laid out their future in a white paper released earlier this year. This is all about their five-year space sector plan, outlining ambitious goals such as reinforcing its space infrastructure and constructing a next-generation spacecraft to transport people to space. The country is also investigating how it can help humans be able to land on the moon. Today, we will discuss China's plans for a space station in 2023 in order to disrupt the race to space forever. China completed its Tiangong Space Station this year, marking it one of the decade's most significant achievements after successfully landing their final experimental module, the Mengtian Lab Module, to the orbiting space station. With the support of the Taikonauts on board and experts on ground, the mission was a huge success and officially marked the finalization of the T-shaped structure. The Tiangong Space Station now has two experimental modules, with the addition of the most recent one, Mengtian. The first is the Wentian Lab Module. These modules house a plethora of experiments, both ongoing and slated for the future. With a fully operational space station, China can increase the number of astronauts on board to six, and scientists can perform experiments to advance their future space goals, such as establishing a lunar base or exploring Mars. Other laboratory tests on the Earth could benefit pharmaceutical or engineering research. According to reports, China's space agency plans to conduct at least 1,000 scientific experiments aboard Tiangong. At least nine experiments will be carried out in partnership with the UN and countries such as Japan, Russia, India, and Mexico. Projects including mapping stars and studying how DNA mutates in space. The experiments on board the Tiangong could be divided into two categories. The first would be medical tests. These experiments would investigate how humans would respond to space radiation or rapid freefall. The second would be elemental experiments. These experiments would look at how fluids and matter behave in weightless environments because weightless environments allow scientists to combine and completely separate chemicals and allows in ways that Earth's gravity cannot. This research aims to help drug discovery and solve engineering problems. In addition to these experiments, China is working on rice cultivation in space. Overall, the experiments on board the Tiangong Space Station will benefit humanity's future. The Tiangong Space Station will also aid China's plans for international collaboration. With the Asian International Space Station in decline and set to be retired in the near future, the China Space Station will be the only orbiting space station. And major spacefaring nations have already noticed this. While the United States has passed legislation stating that it will not collaborate with the Tiangong Space Station, other countries are and can since International Space Station contributors are not bound by US laws. And they have already stated that they would like to work with China in the near future. While the Tiangong Space Station is finally complete, the Chinese space program also intends to launch its own telescope in 2023 or as late as 2024. The Chinese Space Station Telescope, which is scheduled to launch in 2024, will serve as a research facility. Chinese scientists will use the Space Optical Observatory to conduct sky surveys, according to the Chinese news agency Xinhua. The Sunshine Telescope, as it is also known, which literally translates to survey the heavens, will stand 6.6 .6 feet tall and it has a 2-meter diameter lens, comparable to the Hubble Space Telescope. However, it has a field of view that is 300 times greater than that of a 31-year-old. Hubble, while still maintaining the same resolution, the large 2.5 billion pixel camera will allow the telescope to observe up to 40% of the sky over a 10-year period. 
Notably, the telescope will orbit Earth alongside the Chinese space station and will be able to duck with a future crewed out post on a regular basis. The CSS team will monitor near ultraviolet and visible light. Notable cosmological and astronomical goals include studying the properties of dark matter and dark energy, as well as the large scale structure of the universe and galaxy emergence and evolution. The CSS team will also be tasked with detecting and assessing trans-Neptunian objects and near-Earth asteroids. According to Zhu Jianpeng, chief designer of China's human space flight program, this telescope is a direct competitor to the infamous Hubble telescope. For increased space probe effectiveness, the telescope will be installed in an optical module that can take flight independently in orbit. They plan to make it fly in roughly the same orbit as the future space station. This will allow it to refuel the telescope and carry out an orbit upgrade to keep it at the same standards as that of an international frontier. Given China's concentration in the moon, it has long been expected that the country would attempt to land people in the lunar surface. China has made substantial progress in its manned space program as the country's lunar program has advanced. This is where the previously published Chinese white paper states that the future of the lunar mission before sending people to the moon's surface, China intends to keep studying the moon with probes. The white paper outlines plans to send two more robotic spacecraft to the moon within the next five years to explore the lunar polar regions, which are thought to be home to water and ice. The first of the two probes will come back with lunar samples, while the second will detect movement in an area that always seems to be in the shadow. According to the white paper, the country will also research plans for its next lunar pro as well as collaborate with worldwide partners to build an international research station in the moon. This moon research station is expected to be built with a partnership by the Chinese with Russia, with the UAE also expected to play a significant role. After the successful sample return mission from the lunar surface, the Chang'e program has already done three of its four total phases. The sixth mission of the program will investigate the topographic features, patterns, and subsurface of the lunar surface. The program will reach the conclusion after the testing of new technology required for the construction of a lunar science base. The Lunar Exploration Initiative could continue until the 2030s. Though the moon has always been a priority for China, the country is also interested in exploring other planets within our solar system. It wishes to launch probes to near-Earth asteroids in the next five years, as well as study methods of sending spacecraft to the Jupiter system and to Mars again, with the goal of bringing back samples from the Red Planet. Overall, China is focused on various aspects of space and this will continue increasing. The nation's space program is incredibly ambitious and outcomes have been remarkably successful in the past with a potential successful future too.